Hi Curious and welcome back! The life of the British royal family has been on everyone's lips for the past few weeks. First with the interview with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry that they gave to Oprah Winfrey, and then the sad news of Prince Philip's death. The history of the monarchy has always been full of scandals or tragedies, and there has been no shortage of dramatic moments, including those that have not been talked about much. For such was the story of Alice Battenberg, or Prince Philip's mother, and her fate was almost fallen into oblivion. And why did such an important person in the life of Queen Elizabeth II's spouse become a secret of the British court? What unfortunate moments did Princess Alice go through since her birth? And how is it possible that she was almost absent from her son's life? And why did she become known as the chief saint of Buckingham Palace? Stay tuned to the end to find out more about perhaps the most remarkable figure in the history of the royal family. But before we get to the story, make sure you turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. On April 9th, Buckingham Palace announced the death of Prince Philip, who would have celebrated his 100th birthday in June. His marriage to Queen Elizabeth II had lasted uninterrupted for nearly 74 years, and during that time, they lived to see four offspring, eight grandchildren, and ten great-grandchildren. Although experts in the royal family pointed out that their relationship was not perfect, and there was rumors that Philip was cheating on the monarch, the couple continued to stand by their marriage vows together, and they also managed to create a family home, although it's worth noting that the prince himself never really experienced it. His childhood was marked by war and the illness of his mother Alice, who did not even have contact with her child for many years. How is it possible that this actually happened? Well, to answer this question, we must start her story from the very beginning. Alice Battenberg came into this world in 1885 at Windsor Castle as the daughter of Princess Louis of Battenberg and Princess Victoria of Hesse. Her great-granddaughter, Queen Victoria of Britain, and it was she who noticed that there was something wrong with the newborn girl. For Alice, from the first days of her life, reacted badly to the words that were spoken to her, and then she began to speak very late. It was initially thought that she might be developmentally delayed, but doctors, after conducting tests, made a completely different diagnosis, for it turned out that the child had severe hearing problems and was almost deaf. Because of her disability, the girl had to learn to read lips, and because she was extremely stubborn and clever, However, over time, she mastered several languages, including English, German, French, and Greek. She was raised as an English princess, but also spent many moments of her life in Germany and Greece. She grew up to be a beautiful girl who enjoyed social life, and when she came of age, she met the love of her life. Her chosen one was the Greek Prince Andrew, a few years older, whom she first met in 1902 at the coronation of Edward VII. The princess fell in love with him at first sight, and a year later, their wedding took place in Germany and it was during the ceremony that she caused her first scandal. It occurred completely by accident because during their marriage vows, Alice did not understand the priest's question, and that was thanks to the beard that covered his mouth. Therefore, she could not read most of the words from his lips, and when the priest asked the question, is Alice getting married of her own free will, the woman answered no instead of yes, and after a while, another mistake occurred because the priest asked, did she promise her hand to another, to which she answered yes, and there was much consternation among among the congregation, but unfortunately after a while, the whole situation was rectified. After her wedding, Alice, as a princess, went to live with her husband in Greece. Unfortunately, their family life was not successful. Prince Andrew turned out to be a womanizer and, in addition, did not hide his conquests. And nevertheless, their marriage lasted for the next years and five offspring were actually born, including four daughters and one son, Philip, who was the youngest of the children. And it is interesting to note that he was born in the Monrepo Valley on the island of Corfu in the kitchen table and soon after, along with his parents, he fled Greece hidden in an orange crate. And this was because their lives were in danger, and there was a military coup in the country that overthrew the reigning king Constantine I. And it was him that Philip's father was related to, and he decided to flee the country with his loved ones and make his way to Britain. These events took a heavy toll on Princess Alice and over time severely damaged her mentally. Before this happened, however, the family went through other difficult moments. Their financial troubles began and they struggled to survive. The situation was not improved by the fact that Alice Alice's husband decided to return to Greece and take part in their war, commanding the Greek troops, and unfortunately they suffered a defeat for which Prince Andrew was accused of, and to avoid execution he again fled the country. Fortunately, he managed to survive, but Alice strongly experienced this and became extremely nervous, and as time went on, she exhibited more unusual behavior. Philip's mother underwent a major spiritual transformation and claimed to be in contact with Buddha and Jesus. She supposedly received divine instructions from them and even possessed the ability 
ability to heal people. Her health deteriorated steadily day by day, and she underwent several nervous breakdowns, and the doctors concluded that she suffered from schizophrenia. In 1930, she was hospitalized by her husband's decision, and the famous psychiatrist, Sigmund Freud, became interested in her case. And Alice was transferred to a psychiatric clinic in Switzerland and received a peculiar treatment. She was reportedly given electric shocks, kept in ice-cold water for hours, and had her ovaries exposed to x-rays because it was believed that the princess's religion delusions were the result of her sexual frustration and that the exposure was intended to lower her libido. The woman had no contact with her family during this time and is even said that she was held in the clinic against her own will and therefore tried to escape from it several times unsuccessfully. She was eventually transferred to another facility in northern Italy where she spent the next two years in treatment. These events also took a heavy toll on her loved ones, especially her children, and Philip, who was only a 10-year-old boy at the time, experienced this tremendously. In addition, to having no contact with his mother, he was also separated from his siblings and sent to relatives in England. Princess Alice's stay in the hospital also led to the breakdown of her marriage to Prince Andrew. When the therapy was over, the woman decided to settle down in Athens away from her children. She led a very modest life and worked in the branch of the Red Cross, and she was involved in charity work, organizing food for the homeless, and bringing medicines from Sweden for the poor. She saw her kids for the first time since completing her treatment in 1937, and at the funeral of one of her daughters, who had died in a plane accident, and after that, Alice went to Greece, where she also stayed throughout World War II. And we mention this for a reason, because the princess at the time gave shelter to Jewish families, and risking her life helped them to escape from their country. And for her achievements, she was honored after the war with the title of Righteous Among the Nations. In 1949, she also founded her own order of the Christian Sisterhood of Martha and Mary, and established a religious school, and donned the habit. And she sold almost all of her princely jewels to charity, but she did not get rid of two precious tiaras, and one of them she decided to give to her son Philip so that he could make an engagement ring from it for Elizabeth. And anyway, the diamonds from the tiara were also used to make a bracelet that Philip gave to his newly married wife. Alice of Battenberg's second tiara, named Minder, actually became a wedding gift for Elizabeth, but the future queen never wore it and gave it to Princess Anne on her 18th birthday. And we also have to mention, going back to the story of Princess Philip's mother, the fact that she wore a habit became quite a problem when faced with her son's wedding. Indeed, Alice insisted that she be allowed to wear the outfit during the ceremony, but after the intervention of Queen Elizabeth or Queen Elizabeth's mother, she was persuaded out of the idea. However, the woman stood her ground during the coronation of Philip's wife, and there she already appeared in the habit. Many members of the royal family considered her to be an exceptional eccentric, and through her many years in Greece, she virtually fell into oblivion. And also, she as a nun did not acknowledge her aristocratic background. Although Philip actually grew up without a mother, as an adult, he had a good relationship with her, and he took an interest in her fate and made sure that she spent the last years of her life with him at Buckingham Palace, where she stayed until her death on December 5th of 1969. This is shown a little differently in the hugely popular Netflix series The Crown, where Philip is reluctant to keep his mother in the royal court and fears her presence will ruin the image of the British monarchy. Anyways, the writers of the series also missed the truth when showing an interview that Princess Alice gave to a journalist, The Guardian, and for such a conversation never happened, and the woman did not speak openly about her health problems of the past, because she preferred to keep it rather silent. And the fact, however, that many other events that could have been seen in the production were based on real events from her her life, as you could see by watching our episode. Besides, it was thanks to the series that a wider audience got to know about Prince Philip's mother and her extraordinary story because until now, she is one of the most mysterious figures from the British royal court. And did you, Curious, also first learn about her through the Crown series? Do you enjoy learning about fascinating stories from the British monarchy? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Until next time!